Welcome to the 22nd Annual Long Island International Film Expo. And right now we are here with... Christopher Fox. Christopher Fox. And the project that you submitted and will be seeing is... The Last Fishing Trip. And what exactly part of production did you play in The Last Fishing Trip? I was the uh, writer-director of The Last Fishing Trip. So, what gave you the idea for this project? The idea for this project came from uh, my actress who... Um, recently lost her brother to cancer and while working on a, another project when we actually met I recently lost my father uh, suddenly to uh, um, heart, heart complications and um, after we finished the first project we were working on she said hey you know how would you feel about making a movie about you know loss and I said sure she gave me an outline of the film of what, we, what it could be about and uh, it was tough because we didn't want it to be based on a true story because it would have been too close to her so we had to I had the mission was for me to write a fictional story around her loss and my loss so that's where the story came from and the story is about an elderly woman who loses her brother to cancer and looking for answers she makes a pilgrimage to New York because it was her uh, brother's dying wish to come to, to New York, which he never was able to get to because he's always so busy working. So that's kind of what the story's about. It's deep, it's deep, and there's a lot of our male character. So she comes to New York and she's a fish out of water, and she meets a young uh, African American male and he helps her cope with her loss while she helps him with his loss, which you don't really find out about until like the very last scene. But his loss is my loss as, as what I went through in life. So I wrapped up all my anger, uh, sadness into his character and Diane didn't really have to do too much because she lived it just as much as I lived it. You know, I, I see that a film such as that one can be something that touches everybody because everybody experiences some sort of loss, whether it's something you're expecting or something unexpected. Absolutely. So I think that that's something that is, is, is a great thing. And, and that's a major dialogue of, of, of the final scene, too, is about how, you know, cause some people will say, hey, I wish I was around to see my, my father, mother, cousin, brother, you know, live their last few days. And people that, like myself, who lost someone suddenly, it's... it's the grass is always greener on the other side. You know, it's like, would you rather see someone suffer or just know that they never suffered and then you woke up one day and then, and then it just got, you know, so it's, which one, do you, which one, you know, so it's, it's tough. It's very tough. Yeah. And, and I'll say that I agree because I did too. I, I did see a film that I thought was awesome. Thank you. Very touching. It actually brought me to a place because I made some love to my sister. I'm sorry. And it was, it was a good part it was unexpected. So, yeah. watching your film, it felt very relatable, um, and, and it was great to see the creativity of it all come together. So, for someone like me who was in the audience, I definitely must say that I appreciated the story you told. I think it was well written, and it was very helpful. Thank you very much. So, on another note, um, yes. are you working on anything else? Uh, yeah, I just currently shot. I didn't write write a film, uh, write the film, but I just DP'd uh, a, a feature film called Lola. It's a female boxing film about um, a female uh, boxer who uh, is struggling with her own sexuality as a young as a young girl, and uh, she ends up unfortunately getting raped. And then from that, she tries to learn how to defend herself, and that starts her journey through her boxing career. Um, that we shot it in Peekskill, New York, in uh, early June. We just wrapped a couple weeks ago, and next on my plate is uh, my first feature, which is called The Crew, which we start shooting in February 2020. Awesome. Well, we hope when you do that that you'll bring it right on back here to life. Absolutely. So that everybody can come on down and see more of your great work. Thank you. I wish you well in all your endeavors, and we definitely appreciate you bringing it here to us. Thank you so much, and thank you guys. Thank you, life. You're welcome.